at a crossroads. We have no destination. Oh yeah. <laughs> We're gonna ask a local here. Uh, hey, excuse me, pardon. Uh, pardon. Oh, no. <laughs> Crossroads. And only La Vache Blanc knows which way to go. It's not that we're really lost, no. it's that we have really nowhere to go. <laughs> it's not that we are the moron, but we'll be in moron. Yeah. We'll be the moron. Yeah, in fact, the, the point is, is we, we're cruising, we have no destination other than dinner, yeah. and uh, uh, at Lyon de Lyon. Lyon. So, I haven't taken a uh, at Saint uh, uh, Bahrain uh, two ninety nine. It's a little confusing. We've uh, lost the vineyards. Uh, a couple guy wearing a French beanie over there, and um, we'll be checking in with you in a little bit. We'll see where our progress goes. <laughs> We're a little lost, but we're gonna ask a local here uh, a question. Maybe, uh, hey, excuse me, pardon, uh, pardon, oh, no. <laughs> <En> question, <laughs> s'il vous plaît. Okay. Hey, <laughs> hey. We're going to negotiate our way into Givray through the pompous archway. There's the Round Church. Which stands, uh... The Round Myself right now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what it is. Pump his archway. <laughs> you big you. <laughs> Fucking archway. Uh, do you want to get some chocolate? Oh, do you want to go to the chocolate here? Yeah. Let's go to the chocolate here. The tassery? Yeah. Exhibition hall is for me. The exhibition. It's a rounding. But uh, we're on our way now. Time for some. Uh... Oh. Oh. Oh.
Now you'll notice the uh, specifics of Romanesque architecture here. It's supposed to Gothic, rounded arch, the heavy column, and the lack of the ability to have the arch support enough of the weight of the wall and the roof to allow a lot of open area, what we call the clear story. See here we have very limited, uh, limited and very deep uh, wall by which we get a, only a small window into. The acoustics are quite interesting. Now, uh, two other interesting notes about this Romanesque structure. Um, first is the uh, clock tower. Oh, it was built uh, completely as an add-on to the original structure. But more importantly, an important tenant in the uh, Catholic religion is the area by which people um, uh, queue up for uh, healing. And it's right here. as. Oops. <laughs> it's a little rough this monop Bronchion. It's a little bit of a bust since they won't let us get up there. But they didn't tell us that in the book. Many ducks of Burgundy called this home. <laughs> hey, let's see. You're running? Yes. We can't we get it up square. Can we up see it? Yeah, it doesn't do that. 
that well. Um, yeah, so this has been a, uh, what can I tell you, man? We, we went to Bronchion. We thought we would see the medieval city where the ducks of Burgundy did call home. But no. No. So, ultimately, that wasn't what we've got to do to get back to the car and go to Tornis. Okay, we're going back to Tornis. Excellent. Excellent. Bonjour. while he's smoking this So of course, uh, the bell towers are on either side of us right now. And uh, the way they made these things is they would put up scaffolding, wooden scaffolding. And they'd drop all these stones in and mortar them and then bust down the, the scaffolding. And if it stood, eh, then it worked. <laughs> if it all came falling down, you know, they built it up again and started over. It wasn't a problem for them. That's how they did it. Down the steps. No, no, I'll follow you down the steps. Okay. <laughs> okay. Make it the, the, the screen works perfect.
tell you. Let's. See the two, uh, the two towers. See, we we saw we were standing in the one that had the wood on the roof. They finished one with a bell tower. They never got around to finishing the other. Yeah, we we just uh, ran out of time. Aish. to sell to sell the stone so it looks like we can only imagine what it looked like but, uh, as we can see here this is one of the of the three towers traditionally set in the place of the of the crossing at uh, typical cathedral um, the arches within the center of the nave rose to a height of 100 feet Notice the change in acoustics too. The uh, the very bottom of the, one of the only remaining bell tower, and one that may not make it through our quick little discussion here. We can take a look straight up. example here of uh, the flamboyant style of Gothic architecture. This was probably built in the mid-1600s and uh, use of uh, a lot of flowery decorative carved uh, stone. And, uh, as you can see, the, uh, oh, the uh, 
What makes it, again, typically Gothic is the easy way of seeing the arches and their, their nice high pointed nature and uh, a great decrease in the amount of weight that uh, uh, would be required to substantiate the structure. Just some yeah, no, man, don't worry. Yeah, yeah, he's got glasses. Uh, we're pretty excited about uh, our trip here in Clooney, uh, in tribute of Georges. Don't worry. And I think what we are going to do now is head towards Pouy Fousse. Uh, we will do a little degustation right here in the parking lot of the Abbey. Degustation. And um, see where that takes us. We can tell right now the sun is uh, breaking through. Yeah, look. I mean, this is gorgeous. We're going to do a nice, nice. Well, it can be a heavy good thing to do. Yeah. But it's been an uh, eventful trip here in Clooney. And I think uh, we're going to ride some horses before we go and uh, yeah, we get out of here. Yeah, we're going to do a little gustacion and see how it goes. So we'll, we'll keep you fully informed. Ball. Mm -hmm. Degustación. There we go. 
It is time now to say au revoir to Borgon. Charm Chambertin Grand Cru. Nice. Et terminé. Et terminé. On to Rhone. On to Rhone. Oh, look right at the window, quick. Oh, oh chirping birds. Oh. Weep, weep. Weep, weep. Weep, weep. Back up. Take back up. Back up. Oh, back up. No, back up. It, was just a, it was a cut. <laughs> We're going to do some chamber 10. Uh, now it's time to say goodbye to Borgon. Chambard 10, Grand Cru. <laughs> C'est fini. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we throw her out the window because she is terminate. Other words? These are n'est pas plastique. Hey. Now, we have several interesting views here. One is the uh, view... Uh, de Jean, dans Jean. Yeah, the view... Uh, uh, is that a Picasso? I think it is. Uh, I think you're right. Early Picasso, here in our room. Or is that Gropasto? Oh, it might be. We're also interested in showing you out the window. Uh, be very bright out the window. Wait, wait, what? Oh, hear the birds. Chirp, chirp. <laughs> chirp, chirp. Oh, wait. Oh, there he is. Chirp, chirp. Oh, where's the focus? It's so hard to find the bird. Oh, the bird. <laughs> chirp, chirp. Ah, too many. <laughs> and now for a quick look out into the Jardin. Oui. <laughs> Le vieux Jardin. <laughs> hey, La vieux Jardin. Yeah. Hey. hey. Listen, we got a phone message, though. I want to just get back. We got a phone message. Yeah, I hope everything goes okay, yeah? Oh, yeah. No? A phone message from my wife. Mm. Ah, mon dragon. La fin de la La fin de la Oh, don't be so good. That's Latin. <laughs> We had a waiter tonight who wants to come uh, stay with uh, you and Alan. Oh, yes. The man at the bar. The man at the bar was amazing. Um, let me tell you, he was something you just, um, you just couldn't, you just couldn't figure it out. I mean, uh, no matter how hard I tried, I usually can get the best guy, side of someone. This guy was stone. He was made of stone. He was steel. He was fucking made of steel and stone. Buggers. Buggers. <clears throat> Terminate. Terminate for all. Tomorrow? Jesus. <laughs> 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 Moment. Terminate. We're going tomorrow? Vous oh. les boutons. Oh. Et terminé? Oh, yes, terminé. Ah, wrong. Just push this yeah. one? Yeah. Well, or not. Which button? The red one. Oh, 
we'll just the, the record thing. Yeah. But I thought you always had a fade. Are you always building a fade in? Oh, I did not because I, when you change the battery, I did, yeah. Oh, okay. Well, maybe we have to look out the window before we cut. Oh, look at the birds. This is our window. What? What? The view window. Love view window. Wait. Move on. We have to have a view of the donjon. Yes, or, no. Let's check in. Check in. I check in. Talk about donjon. Yeah. We're checking in here at uh, Chateau de Pep. And uh, this would be our own view uh, of the donjon. Uh, here now, donjon, the English word we're familiar with, of course, is uh, dungeon. Um, we think of it as like a, merely a place of, uh, like a jail or where you put people away, but. Donjon is a much more complicated word in French. It means that uh, often it can refer to a chateau, but more it's about the fortified uh, chateau, uh, the part of which that was the fortifications and the and the stores and the other uh, uh, weaponry was uh, was held in. So, um, and uh, we have a particularly impressive uh, preservation of part of the donjon here, um, very small piece, and. Uh, we're just really enjoying it here, enjoying the day. I didn't bring the big camera. Check Checking in Terry Bruno here at uh, Chateauneuf de Pop here at the Donjon um, with their uh, handsome husband, Chuck Bruno. Um, we're just checking in a little bit. Do you want to maybe, uh, after the plane goes by, tell us a little bit what's going on? Well, I just want to say uh, thanks on behalf, of, on behalf of the French military for providing us with protection this day against those heathen communists. Well, that's right, they're gone, they collapsed. Uh, I, I just want to tell Therese, and il est mon mari, Chuck. Comment allez-vous? Uh, très bien, et vous? Uh, oui, et vous? Oh, très bien, et vous? And I'd like to thank my mother for this award, and my dad, and my kindergarten teacher, and... <laughs> Très bon! Très bon! Très bon donjon! Très bon donjon! Alain est très spécial! Oui, oui? Oui, Alain most spécial. <laughs> Several hundred kilometers north of here, of course, are the great uh, Swiss and French Alps. During the uh, spring and summer months, the winds ripping down through the uh, Rhone Valley here. Just uh, this way over here. And you notice that in order to generate a lot of energy, uh, we've got the windmills uh, of the A7, as they're more famously known. So here we are headed north to Paris, the uh, Greve, <laughs> as it were. The Greve of the uh, TGV trains. So it's basically it's a strike, and we're unable to uh, really have any consistency with our traveling today. So we're driving this beautiful BMW north on the A7 up to the Rhone Valley. And you can see the Mistral's in the you know, probably 80 to 100 kilometers at some time. Generating energy for the heat, uh, for the heat, air conditioning, and all the other things that they have here. Are just, are just south of us is the nougat capital of uh, perhaps the world. Um, city known as um, Mont Montelemar. Montelemar. And uh, as Tim um, certainly can chime in here, uh, they really believe they have the uh, 
Uh, I replaced it. Okay, so you're recording right now. What's going on? What's yeah. going on? <laughs> We're here in uh, Pernand Viglesis, or however they say that in Burgundy. And this is the uh, Pries Punua. De Notre Dame de. <laughs> I'm getting a little dizzy now. I have to figure out a way to make a move out of this. We can get right up close. Pretty close, yeah. We can see him. Start with her. Yeah. So uh, here we are. We haven't figured out how to use the remote yet, but uh, they just need a battery. This is what it's about. This is burning. Top of the hill. Looking at pie. Whoa. Where there's smoke, there's fire. Nice head. <laughs> Takes some getting used to. Bonjour. Bonjour. Okay. I kind of, at this point, figure out how to get to Corton. I think we just keep going this way. Get back in town and go this way. Because rather, the, you know, the auto route down there. That's where yeah, all the trouble is. We're going to come around and... And come around there. Yeah. Oh yeah. Push. No. We're having a. We're just enjoying the finest uh, French beer that Germany offers. <laughs> Sitting here at the bar Saint uh, Saint Pierre. Uh, if you can pan around that way, it's a nice way of seeing the marquee of the. Uh, um, show the marquee of the of the bar, followed by the.
Oh no, no, the cathedral is at the end here. And, uh, uh, is there is the is the facade now? It was what? That was the mid 15, late 1500s when they finally got around to building the end of this thing. And uh, uh, they got one bell tower made, but they either ran out of money or interest or something and never got around to putting the other one up. Um, quite often they were. They were, they were always built at different times, and quite often one bell tower would be entirely different looking than the other because the either style or interest or the craftsmanship had changed. But in this case, they just didn't even bother. You know? So there you go. There it is in a nutshell. Beautiful, beautiful looking with the uh, afternoon sun on it, though, isn't it? Oh, gorgeous. And a beautiful day for a wedding. Wow. 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 <laughs>